Boom! What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Day number three, race day number one at Citrus County Speedway for the 2023 Winter Nationals. We're rolling up to the driver's meeting. We love driver. Yes sir, thank you guys. All my fans. We got a big day of racing here today. It kicks off day number one. There's no drops and points and so you either have a good day one or you're out of the points. That's all there is to it one day in. But we showed a lot of promising speed in the last video, especially towards the end. We struggled, but then we got faster. I think as a team, we're what all going to be- run yesterday, Trevor Wester? Set a track record, Jorge. We're going to be really fast. So why is there a forerunner out on the track? I don't know, <laughs> but Jason Alder showed up. He's a national champion in these things. He's one of the greatest of all time in a lot of people's books. Trev, I don't think I'm as good as you though. I don't, I don't know about all that now. I don't know if my five career legend car wins speak for that, but we, uh, we're we all ready to go. NPM's going to be a force we reckon with. We're probably going to get screamed out at this driver's meeting. And uh, Oh, Cole Roby, literally the greatest young line to ever exist. Look at this guy. This guy's just a legend right here. Yeah. All right, guys. So a little bit of an update. It's a little later in the day. We got the squad with us. Did, hey, did y'all know that we qualified third and fourth? Well, yeah, we were one and two, but now we're three and four for the race. And so not bad at all. Me and George, we're going to be ripping. We'll be good. We'll be good. I hope it goes green. I hope it goes long green flag run. I think that plays into the favor of both of us. Um, we get better as the run goes on. We're long-term bobbies, not short-terms. So, Oh, yeah. Got to go out there, get up on the wheel, keep our nose clean. It's going to be a wild semi-pro race. George, what are your thoughts? You are my thoughts. Sir. Probably I me, do want me and thoughts. Trevor are going to... We're gonna do really good. Yeah, I like it. I love the confidence, love the enthusiasm. We're gonna go out there and show, show Zach, Riley, Davis, everybody on this wonderful team who NPM is, and then me and George will be one, two when it's all said and done. So, what's this? Oh, it's breaking open. Hang on, he's going to the lead. He's just like his daddy, I swear. Woo! The crowd are up. Question Bush in the lead. He's got the clean air he needs. Coming to the final couple laps of this race. It's going to be close. Who's going to win it? Brexit or the other guy? Is it going to be Brecky or the seven car? Here we come. Roaring out the next straightway. Oh, he's looking high on him. He's looking high. Rex and Morris out back freeway. Black flag. Black flag. No. Is this race over? Oh. Black flag is out. Go, Brecky. Go. Is he going to be able to do it in his first ever start? Oh, the wrecking. It ain't going to matter. Checker flag is out. Braxton Moss. Woo! <laughs> Good luck, man. Thank you. Go get him. What a race. Braxton Bush is a winner. What do you think about that, Robert? Shades of his father right there on that last restart. Use that lesson learned from his father. Yes, sir. It it's so storybook, you can't even write it in the script if you wanted to. All right, there's been a lot of crazy features already, and it's still very early, very early on in the day. Still got four or five more features to go. About to go out now, though. Everyone watching this video, pray for me. Wish me luck. Because neither of us know how I'm about to do yet, so... Just pray for a good, safe race, clean finish, hopefully a top three finish, hopefully a win. And that's above first and foremost, hopefully. Go out there and go catch a dub in a very stacked semi-pro field. But top three, gotta get a good points. Gotta be thinking for the whole week. Can't do something necessarily race one that puts us behind the eight ball or out for the rest of the week. So wish me luck. 
we'll uh, we'll go out there and go run it as hard as we can and go get a win for you guys. Got to give an update because I'm really bad at giving updates after the race, especially when things don't go the way we need them to. Fleet finished like ninth. Not bad. Tell, tell me your Very bad, about. man. Qualified bad. Raced bad. Just yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, they're getting out of the car. Yeah, I started fourth, got trained on the outside lane, absolutely killed, and then I know. And we, uh, is that, and I don't know, we just had to make our way up to the field. We got shuffled back on the outside, got wrecked, blew a tire, had to change the tire, and then finished like ninth. So, what a resilient effort. We should all go up to your room, buddy. But yeah, we both finished like P9, kind of disappointing day. We went to Olive Garden, rizzed up the waitress, got 50 bucks as a result of it. Did you really rizz it up? Oh, no, I got rejected, bud. But <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed, try, try again. Never give up. Mercedes Benz perfume. Oh, it was bad luck. We got to just take it all in. But yeah, uh, dinner was really good. We're just going to chill out for the rest of the night. And uh, probably some Wagyu burgers and... Intern ready? Appreciation day In, happy Intern Appreciation Day. <laughs> Morning, guys. Today's already been a natural, absolute disaster. <laughs> but oh. you know what? There's been a lot of there's been a lot of tough, tough moments and adversity given to us this trip. But me and Ethan were bigger than that, and we're gonna rise above. And we're gonna both park in Victory Lane today on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all my viewers. If you guys have a boyfriend or girlfriend, that's great. Cause I don't. Um, neither does Ethan. We're both single on Valentine's Day. You know what the vibes are. But literally us, bud. Pete and Pedro. Pete and Pedro. We're waiting though for the driver's meeting to start. Um, and then I guess same deal as yesterday. Same stuff on the docket. Two rounds of practice, qualifying and a race. I don't know what the order is. That might be a little fun. I think semi pros are actually the last feature out. Not even a cab. Which is kind of weird, but um yeah, excited for today. Hopeful. Hopefully, we can bounce back from two P9 finishes, I think, yesterday and go to Victory Lane. To be so lonely. To be so lonely. What's up, guys? After the driver's meeting here, we got the gang. All right, George, you got anything to say to the vlog? Yeah, uh, me and Trevor are going to qualify one, two. I'm going to qualify on the pole. He's going to qualify second. And I'm going to win. He's going to finish second. That'll be a perfect day for a PM, right? All right, Jason, how about yourself? We're gonna qualify P17. All right. <laughs> We're gonna come up to P21. Okay. Uh, and we'll finish two laps down. <laughs> Great day. And Mr. Cole Roby. Qualify pole and back to back. All right. And if you qualify pole and fumble the raceway, you think you're gonna be in a in for a world of hurt this afternoon once you leave the racetrack? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and we're here with Ethan. Oh, I'm gonna total the car I'm qualifying, and I'm gonna wreck, and I'm done. <laughs> All right, bud. And then finally, we got me, the biggest cob at NPM. Um, I'm feeling a solid, I'm feeling a P5 starting position today, not even a cap, and outside lane gets trucked. We get up to third, couple late race yellows, and I punt George for the win, so. Yeah. Bro looks divine over here anyways. We got the whole squad hey, though. what if I want to do on the last lap? Then I'd probably have to leave and go to Narstad, bud. Nope. Oh, Post practice with Ty Fredrickson. Bro, bro be slurping up the Tahitian treats. Let's go get one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta show the we gotta show the audience what this segment is sponsored by Tahitian Tree Fruit Punch. Let's find a way to prop this up here. Oh Alright. Somebody grab a Tahitian tree. Here we go. Hey Trevor, hey Trevor, I'm on cloud racing. To heat and treat fruit, I'm on cloud racing. To heat and treat fruit punch. Uh, the official sponsor of the number, cup pop in here, Ty. The number 36 car of Ty Fred. Oh, yeah. Best fruit punch you've ever had? Oh yeah. What about you, Ethan? One to ten. What do we give this beautiful? Uh, ten out of ten, man. Ten out of ten. Honestly, it's 12 fluid ounces, 180 calories, um, 49 grams of sugar. You guys might be like, holy cow, this is like no good. But, 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 but. Good thing we have a comparison. Dang, Trevor. Before you do Break the drill. We got a... Do the do. Okay. We got a can of Mountain Dew. Same, same size, obviously. This is 170 calories, so 10 calories less. And actually, three grams of sugar less. <laughs> so maybe this is healthier than this monstrosity. 
but you don't feel bad about drinking one of these. You're going to feel bad about this is banned in Europe to heat and treat isn't just keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to be good in qualifying. Just don't sit the right front down like a smart and drop. Boom. 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 Plop. Yeah. Boom. Plop it going into turn one and two, but trying to go get the pole, baby. What's up, guys? We are here post-quali. My man's qualified P9. He's on the inside, though. I qualified P9 in a 15-0. Trevor, what did you qualify at? Qualified P5 at a 90. So <laughs> we're rolling, <laughs> baby. We're rolling, baby. 1-0. What did you run in? 0-what? Oh, 0-7-6. Oh, uh, Okay, so he was 300s faster than me, so. Um, I don't even know. We're here with Cole Roby as well. He's spitting game. Bro's got that bro's got that main riz, that wind of main riz. Look at him. This guy just ate his animals. He's ready to go for the race. Uh, we got the whole squad here. Ethan, I got, I got a question for you, though, my guy. What? What is your opinion? I need your personal and professional opinion. On... Mm, let me think here. Let's go Mountain Lightning first. Great drink. Um, if you want to buy Mountain Lightning, um, I don't suggest buying it for Robert Northfleet. But other than that, it's great. All right, last question. What is your opinion on uh, Southwestern? Most hillbilly roughed up place I've ever been. <laughs> Most hillbilly roughed up place. Well, we're ready to go, folks. It's going. It's race day. Hopefully we can get our hair in line and uh, go out there and go rip the rip it to victory lane. Mm. So, so, what's up, guys? You can already tell from the time we're doing this vlog that the racing stunk. What the kelp, Terry? The racing stunk once again. Um, good gosh, give us a break. Um, but yeah, Ethan, I don't even know where he finished. He got dumped by his former teammate. <laughs> Um, but he had a good car up until then. And then I got put three wide, got shuffled out to the back, running fifth, and then ended up recovering to finish eighth. So two mediocre days in a row. But, hey, at least it's top ten, so we're stat padding for DJR. Um, and then tonight's low-key been really, really bad. Um, it's been, like, really, really bad. Uh, we went to Ruby Tuesday, just me and Ethan, and now we're sitting in the Wendy's parking lot and getting get a Frosty, maybe a Strawberry Frosty. And maybe talk to Cameron tonight. I don't know. Tonight, I don't know, guys. I really don't. Tonight's been okay. This trip's just been kind of eh. There's been a lot of a lot of adversity and a lot of crazy things happen. But tomorrow's hump day. It's the middle of the trip. Race number three. Got to turn it around. Um, get things pointed back in our direction. Try to turn the turn the cards and go back to victory lane. So yes, sir. Uh, that's gonna be all for this week's video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys very soon because I'm going to finish out vlogging this week. So, subscribe, comment, pray for us. We need it, and God bless.